All right, so now I've got all that done, and so this is what the simple inside of my album looks like. Then I've got some photo mats here. And with the photo mats, you just want to mat some basic gray cardstock on the early espresso. And because your photos are four by six, your base your gray will be four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and your early espresso will be four and a half by six and a half. So that gives you a quarter up each time. And then you're gonna just put these into the book. Now I have decided in advance how I want these in there, so let me just pull out, I've got some pictures here I'm gonna put in here. Let me pull out, I have a map here that I want to be in the front. This map shows where everybody fishes. So I'm just going to put that down, and uh, wish I, I wish I had snail for this because I really don't like to use liquid adhesive, so I might pause the video and go get a snail refill. You can also, one thing I like to use with um, photos as well is, um, you know, the glue sticks. The glue sticks are fine. So that one's going to go there, and then the mascot, he's going to go there, and so, like that, that's the mascot. So all you do to get them apart is you, I put tape on the back of my mats. So what you can do also like I did is you have your mats ready first, and you just put um, the sticky tape on the back of them. Now when you put the sticky tape on the back of the mats, the only thing I want to say is that you don't want to put them all the way around because we're actually going to add some journaling tags in this album. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, he's a little bit smaller and that's because I had to crop something out. So you see that I only have tape at the top. I have it on the two sides on this one. And on the other ones, I have it in the top and the side because we're going to have tags either coming from the top or coming from the side. And you'll see that in a few minutes. So you will go ahead and put all your photos in. These are all four by six photos in that way. I'm going to run through that. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got all of our matted photos in there. I'll just show you what that looks like. So I've got the mat on the front of the fishing locations and the dog, the mascot, some pictures of our favorite um, shots that you might have for boats or days that they captured fish and there'll be pictures of this like at the end as well and so this is all about boating and there you go at the end I did a little bit different I did a full strip across so now we're going to add some tags to this. So what I had done, like I had explained to you before, is that the tape is at the top and the bottom of each photo, but not on the sides. So if you take a, a piece of something that matches, I think the best thing to use with this would be the basic gray, but I ran out of it, so I'm using Sahara Sand. And I'm using my tab punch also to create the tabs. So you would just punch into the cherry cobbler to get a, a tab and then you would attach that tab putting adhesive all over the inside of the tab to the top of the tag. And the tag in this case is just a cardstock cut four by three and a half and now this is my journaling block now one thing I have done in the past is I have actually used the recipe stamp to create lined tags and all you have to do is cover the word recipe or don't ink it and then you can use that parentheses there to be the title of the tag but in this case I'm just gonna leave it blank and it tucks right behind there so let's do a couple of those. Um, so now I did a couple of the other way around, which means that the tape is on this side as opposed to top and bottom. So you would use a shorter tag 
So now that will fit all the way in there. So when you change the kind of tag, whether it be top or side, you have to be aware that either has to be longer or shorter. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the middle here. And again, now that goes there. So it depends on what you prefer, this top one or the ones on the side. It's up to you. And and they are they will go all the way in. So like that. Okay? Now, it wouldn't be any fun unless we did a little bit of stamping, right? And we didn't do any, right? So what I would suggest if you want to do some stamping, you would use the open C stamp set which coordinates with this paper. So I love the way that sometimes we have stamp sets that coordinate with the paper. This is 123032. I love that. Because now I know exactly which stamp I need to use with this paper. And then I'm going to take some Versamark and I'm going to add a few watermarks to this. So this page had the, the most amount of free space. I might just add a few random anchors. I want to do that. Um, or you might want to just leave it clean. You leave it clean, it's, it's nice. So this area here, you can use this big stamp. You see this big stamp here? Um, I think it's a, um, I think it's called a, a fisherman's log or a boater's log. You know, when they travel, they create a log. So I'm just going to stamp this from bottom up. So repeating it. Okay, so there's the log. I could take it all the way across, but I didn't want to. And then for the front piece, here we go. So this could be the front image for the album, like that. So let me show you what I ended up with. So once I had started working with it, I realized I didn't want just the photo. I also wanted like something on the side, like a little... Um, I don't know, some kind of accessory. So what I decided to use was I had stamped just on basic white. I stamped that log in Sahara sand and then I took the anchor and I stole the For You from another set. Um, this is vintage labels. And this is what I love about clear blocks, guys. You can put more than one on and stamp at the same time. So I decided to stamp the For You and the Anchor in Cherry Cobbler, which stands out really nicely on that nautical log. And then I used our beveled window to like make it all pop. So I don't know if you can tell, that's the beveled window. And then I have a piece of twine knotted that reminds me of the way you knot a boat on the pier. And there is the way the front ended up. So I just love how this turned out, guys. This is so simple and you know I'm fighting with the time on YouTube because it's hard to do the video but honest you can do this whole album if you're an experienced stamper 30 minutes if you're a novice the most an hour so the longest work will probably be picking your photos for the album enjoy it thanks for coming next week we've got something even more fun with a lot of movement so come back next sunday to see another one bye bye sitting in the morning sun i'll be sitting when the evening comes Yes, I will Watching the ships roll in Then I'll watch them roll away again Oh, Lord Sitting on the dock of a bay Watching the tide roll away Oh, baby